The nervous system is a complex collection of nerves and specialized cells known as neurons that transmit signals between different parts of the body. It is essentially our body's electrical wiring. Structurally, the nervous system has two components, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. It receives information from the sensory organs via nerves, transmits the information to the spinal cord and processes it in the brain. The nervous system directs our body's reactions to the world and also controls most of our internal functions. Everything from muscle movement and blood vessel dilation to the learning of anatomy and physiology facts. How does it manage all of this? By sending lightning quick signals, electrical and chemicals, between cells. My name is Selena and in this lesson you will learn the structure and function of the central nervous system, the structure and function of the peripheral nervous system, the structure and function of the autonomic nervous system, and what reflexes are. Together the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system transmit and process sensory information and coordinate bodily functions. The brain and the spinal cord function as the control centre. They receive data and feedback from sensory organs and form nerves throughout the body, process the information and send commands back out. Nerve pathways of the PNS carry the incoming and outgoing signals. 12 pairs of cranial nerves connect the brain to eyes, ears and other sensory organs and to head and neck muscles. 31 pairs of spinal nerves branch out from the spinal cord to tissues of the thorax, abdomen and limbs. Each nerve is responsible for relaying sensory information, sending motor commands or both central nervous system consisting of the brain and the spinal cord, the periphery nervous system consisting of all the nerves outside the brain and spinal cord divided into two functional parts, sensory division and motor division. The brain is the most complex organ in the human body. The cerebral cortex, the outer part of the brain and the largest part by volume contains an estimated 15 to 33 billion neurons, each of which is connected to thousands of other neurons. The brain is a central control module of the body and coordinates activity. From physical motion to secretion of hormones, the creation of memories and sensation of emotion. To carry out these functions, some sections of the brain have dedicated roles. However, many higher functions like reasoning, problem solving, creativity, involve different areas working together in networks. It's an organ that fills the cranium, develops until 15 years of life, a main unit exercising control over the body and mind. It has three different sections. Cerebrum indicates and coordinates movement and regulates temperature. Other areas involve and enable speech, judgment, thinking and reasoning problem solving, emotions and learning. Other functions relate to vision, hearing, touch and other senses. The cerebellum mostly involved in precise motor control but also in language and attention. If the cerebellum is damaged the primary symptom is disrupted to the motor control known as ataxia. The brain stem consists of three parts. The medulla oblanta is the lower half of the brain stem continuous with the spinal cord. Its upper part is continuous with the pons. The medulla contains the cardiac, respiratory, vomiting and vasomotor centres regulating heart rate, breathing and blood pressure. The midbrain is associated with vision, hearing, motor control, sleep and wake cycles, alertness and temperature regulation. The spinal cord, the outer main part of the central nervous system, running almost the full length of the back, carries information between the brain and the body, but also carries out other tasks. From the brain stem, where the spinal cord meets the brain, 31 spinal nerves enter the cord. Along its length, it connects with the nerves of the periphery nervous system that run in from the skin, muscles and joint. Motor commands from the brain travel from the spine to the muscles and sensory information travels from the sensory tissues such as the skin, 
towards the spinal cord and finally up to the brain. The spinal cord contains circuits and that control certain reflexive responses such as involuntary movement your arm might make if your finger was to touch a flame. It's approximately 45 centimetres long in adult male and is about the thickness of a little finger. It's a nervous tissue linked between the brain and the rest of the body. The cranial nerves are 12 pairs of nerves that arise directly from the brain and pass through holes in the skull rather than travelling along the spinal cord. Some are sensory, some are motor and some are mixed. These nerves collect and send information between the brain and parts of the body, mostly the neck and the head. Spinal nerves are the major nerves of the body. A total of 31 pairs of spinal nerves control motor, sensory and other functions. These nerves are located in the cervical, the thoracic, the lumbar, sacral and coccygeal levels. Spinal nerves can be impacted by a variety of medical problems, resulting in pain, weakness or decreased sensation. A pinched nerve occurs when there is pressure or compression on a spinal nerve and it is the most common spinal nerve disorder. The neuron is the basic working unit of the brain, a specialised cell designed to transmit information to other nerve cells, muscle or gland cells. Most neurons have a cell body, an axon and a dendrite. Nerve cells are the working units of the nervous system that generate and transmit nerve impulses. Neurodular main function is to protect and maintain the optimum function of your nervous system. It is a connective tissue that supports neurons. These cells are commonly called glia. It offers essential nutrients. It also helps create mind sheet. And further, it also helps to maintain hemostasis within the neurons. Neurons vary in size, shape and structure depending on their location and their role. However, nearly all neurons have three essential parts, a cell body, an axon and a dendrite. The bundles of axons bound together are called nerves. For survival needed continuous supply of oxygen and glucose. Action potentially can be initiated in response to stimuli from outside the body like touch, inside the body, changes in concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood will alter respiration. The cell body is the centre of the neuron that contains a nucleus. Each nerve cell has only one axon that carries impulses from the cell body. Also known as a soma, the cell body carries genetic information, maintains the neuron structure, and provides energy to drive activities. Like other cell bodies, a neuron soma contains a nucleus and specialised organelles. It's enclosed by a membrane which both protects it and allows it to interact with immediate surroundings. An axon is a long tail-like structure which joins the cell body at a specialised junction called an axon hillock. Many axons are insulated with a fatty substance called myelin. Myelin helps axons to conduct an electrical signal. Neurons generally have one main axon. Dendrites are fibrous roots that branch out from the cell body, like antennas. Dendrites receive a process signal from axons and other neurons. Neurons can have more than one set of dendrites, known as an dendritic tree, how many they have generally depends on their role. Axon endings are tiny fibres that make the axon expand. They pass the impulses to the next neuron. Afferent neurons and sensory nerves. These are sensory neurons carrying nerve impulses from sensory stimuli towards the central nervous system and brain. Afferent neurons carry signals to the brain and spinal cord as sensory data. The main cell bodies of afferent neurons are located near the brain and spinal column, which comprises the central nervous system. Afferent neurons are designed to respond to different stimuli. An efferent neuron on a nerve ending is designed to detect and respond 
to excess heat. This neuron response is sent to an impulse through the central nervous system. Efferent neurons are motor nerves. There are motor neurons carrying impulses away from the central nervous system and towards muscles to cause movement. Efferent neurons send signals from the brain to the muscles, glands and organs of the body in response to sensory touch. The cell bodies of efferent neurons are located within the central nervous system. Their purpose is to take signals from the central nervous system to the periphery nervous system, muscles and glands. These signals initiate a response to stimulus. The efferent neuron causes muscles to contract and relax to move the body away from the heat. Mixed nerves are composed of both motor and sensory fibres and transmit messages in both directions at once. Together, the nerves make up the peripheral nervous system and distinguish from the central nervous system, brain and spinal cord. When neurons communicate, the neurotransmitters from one neuron are released, cross the synapses and attach themselves to special molecules in the next neuron called receptors. Receptors receive and process the message, then send it to the next neuron. Eventually the message reaches the brain. Nerve impulses only travel in one direction. The impulse crosses in the synapses, the point when one neuron meets another, from axon of cell A into the dendrite of cell B. The process continues until the impulse reaches either the brain or the muscle organ concerned. The principal regulator of the sensory modalities of the head is the trigeminal nerve. This is the fifth of 12 pairs of cranial nerves that are responsible for transmitting numerous motor sensories and autoimmune stimuli to structures of the head and neck. It's a mixed nerve, one of the largest cranial nerves, chief sensory nerve for the face and head, including the oral and nasal cavities and teeth. It's involved in pain, touch, temperature. Its motor function stimulates the muscles for mastication. Unlike other cranial nerves, this nerve is quite large. It has four nuclei that sense fibres to form its tracts and it's associated with three separate branches ophthalmic, maxillary and the mandibular. The facial nerve is the seventh cranial nerve. It emerges from the pons of the brain stem, controls the muscle of facial expression and functions in the convenience of taste sensation from the anterior two thirds of the tongue. The motor fibres supply the muscle of facial expression. The sensory fibres convey impulses from the taste buds and taste perception. The accessory nerve is a cranial nerve that supplies the stenocloid of mastoid and trapezius muscle. It is considered as the 11th of 12 pairs of cranial nerves, as part of it was formerly believed to originate in the brain. The stenoclast of mastoid muscle tilts and rotates the head, while the trapezius muscle connecting to the scapula acts to shrug the shoulders. The fibres supply the sternoclast mastoid and trapezius muscle. Neuritis is an inflammation of a nerve caused by infection, injury, poison, etc. Pain along the nerve's length and or loss of the structure supplied by the nerve. Characteristic symptoms include pain and tenderness, impaired sensation, often with numbness or hypersensitivity, impaired strength and reflexes and abnormal circulation and decreased ability to sweat in the distribution of the inflamed nerve or nerves. Parkinson's disease is a brain disorder that leads to shaking, stiffness and difficulty with walking, balance and coordination. It's progressive disease caused by damage to the basal ganglia of the brain resulting in the loss of dopamine, causes tremor and rigidity in the muscles as well as difficulty and slowness with voluntary movement. Parkinson's symptoms usually begin gradually and get worse over time. 
as the disease progresses, people may have difficulty walking and talking. A structure containing a number of nerve cell bodies, typically linked by synapses, are often forming and swelling on the nerve fibres. Glangia is a structure containing a number of nerve cell bodies, typically linked by synapses, and often forming a swelling on a nerve fibre. Multiple cirrhosis is a progressive immune disorder. That means the system designed to keep your body healthy mistakenly attacks part of your body that are vital to everyday function. The protective covering of the nerve cells are damaged, which leads to diminished function in the brain and spinal cord. Loss of protective myelin sheet from the nerve fibres in the central nervous system causes muscular weakness, loss of muscular coordination, problems with skin sensation, speech and vision. Sciatica refers to pain that radiates along the path of the sciatic nerve, which branches from your lower back through to your hips, buttocks and down each leg. Typically, sciatica affects only one side of your body. Its pressure on the roots of the sciatic nerve often caused by degeneration of an intervertebral disc. Pain down the back and outside of the thigh, leg and foot. Alzheimer's disease is an irreversible, progressive brain disorder that slowly destroys memory and thinking skills and eventually the ability to carry out the simplest tasks. In most people with the disease, those with the late onset type symptoms first appear in their mid-60s. Cognitive function include the domains of perception, memory learning, attention, decision making and language abilities. Depression is a bipolar affective disorder, also known as manic depression, seasonal affective disorder or winter blues. It affects how you feel, think and behave and can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems. You may have trouble doing normal day-to-day -day activities and sometimes you may feel as if life isn't worth living. More than just a bout of the blues, depression isn't a weakness. You can't just simply snap out of it. Depression may require long-term treatment. Most people with depression feel better with medication, psychotherapy or both. Let's review. The central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord. It is referred to as central because it combines information from the entire body and coordinates activity across the whole organism. The nervous system is broken down into the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is just the brain and the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system is the rest of the nervous tissue in the body and sensory organs that the nervous system attaches to. The peripheral nervous tissue includes the cranial nerves that branch out from the brain and the spinal nerves that branch out from the spinal cord as well as all the sensory organs in the head and body. The basic unit of the nervous system is the nerve cell, the neuron. Nerve cells consist of a large cell body and two types of nerve fibres. Axon, a long slender nerve fibre that projects from a nerve cell and can send messages as electrical impulses to other nerve cells and muscles. Dendrites, branches of nerve cells that receive electrical impulses. It's a communication and structure network. Nervous system dictates and responds to changes inside and outside the body. Together with the endocrine system, it coordinates and controls vital aspects of the function and maintains homeostasis. The nervous system provides an immediate response, while the endocrine system activities is slower and prolonged. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and now have a better understanding of the nervous system. Thank you for listening.